Hello everybody and welcome back to the poor man's chemist. In this video we are going to be making silver chlorate from silver nitrate. This is extremely simple and um, I don't know that I'm going to show you guys all the recrystallization steps since they are extremely straightforward. Um, I will give you a link to where you can find this protocol written out in detail on my website. It's actually just um, a clip. It's a screenshot of the ebook where I got this protocol from. Um, this is from Inorganic, what is this one? Inorganic Synthesis. I do not recall the volume off the top of my head, um, but it is one of the early ones. It's one of the first ones. Um, this procedure is, like I said, it's very, very simple. We are just going to combine an aqueous solution of sodium chlorate, which I have over here. It's already all nice and dissolved, and it's probably starting to cool off again. And we are going to combine a solution of silver nitrate with that, um, mix everything together, and then we are going to let it cool to zero C, at which point our silver chlorate will crystallize out of the solution. Um, like I said, very easy re reaction to do. Um, according to the literature that I read, silver chlorate is supposed to be safe-ish. I mean, it's a chlorate, so, you know, treat it accordingly. Um, but, you know, I, I don't know. In Wikipedia, it said that it was used in some kind of... Um, primary explosive, but it's not explosive on its own. Um, it just seems to be a typical chlorate that's more photosensitive than the rest, which is why, again, having to do this with everything so damn dark. Doesn't really make for a great video, but I already bought the silver nitrate and I have been fighting with this damn thing for days, so we're doing this. <laughs> All right, you guys know that I'm not. I don't. I don't really care about yields so much, but I do care about purity. That that I kind of insist on. So, the 10 grams of silver nitrate I bought from a seller on eBay. Um, I will put a link in the description to where you can get it. They were very conscientious to send it in a nice black bag that is very hard to open up. <laughs> All right, now we are going to take, I worked out with the math, it's um, just under seven mils. This is slightly more, just because, I mean, we're going to crystallize it out of solution anyway. All right, add a little bit more here. Okay, it has all dissolved. I don't know if there's really not much to see. All right, so now I'm just going to add the solution of sodium chlorate to this. is not going too high here. Nope. Um, I don't know why they were so specific about 85C, um, but the way they wrote that, it almost makes me wonder if it will start to break down if the temperature goes higher. Um, I just want to evaporate off just a couple mils of water, so I'm going to let it stir and go for a little bit, and then I will take it off of here and then let it cool down in the ice and that should give us our crude product. Okay, so I'm hoping the flash is kind to this. Um, you see, nice clear solution. I am probably going to skip the other recrystallization steps 
just because, I mean, if I ever need very pure silver chloride, I can always recrystallize it later. Um, I'm more making this as a curiosity, and really, I just wanted to do the synthesis to do a video for it. Um, I didn't really have another use plan for it. I don't know. Maybe I'll light it on fire or something. Um, that could be fun. Anyway, I will come back when everything is chilled and we have some crystals and we're ready to filter them and rinse them. Okay, so we have now reached the point where we have to expose this to light. We don't really have a choice. So we will try to keep it as minimal as possible. Um, but some things just can't be avoided. So according to the protocol, we need to chill 50 milliliters of water down to ice cold. I just used a volumetric flask because it was very convenient. So, all right, we got that. And we have our product in here. You can see it formed some really beautiful crystals. Whoa which I don't know if you're going to be able to see. I'm, I'm scared it's going to tip over in there. So let me show you guys. I'll just try it this way. Because picking it up is clearly not going to work. Look at that. We have some beautiful, thick needles of silver chloride in there. That shit is fucking gorgeous. That is awesome. Um, I really wish I could have filmed this crystallizing in time lapse. But you can see it forms great big needles that... Um, seem to like like they're stellated meaning they tend to originate from a single point very very cool shit so unfortunately we have to dissolve these exceptionally cool crystals or i'm sorry filter that's so unfortunately, we have to filter these very cool crystals which will destroy them you know i was just thinking about it um Thallium-1 chlorate crystallized very beautifully, too. In a completely different motif, though, it was um, little hexagonal-looking plates. At least I think they were hexagonal. Um, whereas this is great big needles. So fucking cool, man. All right. Here we go. You focused, you piece of shit. Oh, great. <laughs> I don't know that um, silver chlorate is as photosensitive as silver chloride. The literature was not overly clear about that. Where's the magnets? There's the magnets. Okay, look, get out of your stir bar. You're a pain in the ass. And of course, having to use the filtrate to rinse it so that we don't dissolve any more than we absolutely have to. Alright, um, so now we are going to rinse it, and of course we are not going to use the entire 50 milliliters. It is, it's pure coincidence that I just, my, the graduated cylinder, or the volumetric flask rather, that fit the best was the 50 mil one. 50 mils is what you would use for the original scale of the synthesis. See? The 50 milk flask rests very conveniently there. One smaller than that were tending to tip over. And bigger than that just seemed silly. So anyway, there we go. And ha -ha, 
it did not destroy the crystals. And you can't see that at all, can you? Look at that. The needles are still there. That is so fucking cool. God, that is so awesome. So it is getting, well, the color is really not terrible. That's really not bad at all. Um, I am going to press these dry with on some paper towels and then I'm going to put them in the desiccator in the dark so they can dry out and um, then I will bottle them. But, I mean, that is so awesome. Well, again, you can't really see shit, can you? Ugh, this is why I don't like working with silver compounds. They're such a pain in the ass. Anyway, I will come back when that's all ready to go into the desiccator. We'll take one last look at it, and then we will wrap this up. Okay, everyone, there we go. Beautiful crystalline silver chlorate that should be of a fairly decent purity. Um, obviously, there's still a little bit of sodium chlorate in there, but... Not very much. Um, that is just beautiful. So, like I said, I'm going to put this in the desiccator in the dark and let it dry. Um, it seems to be a bit more resistant to photo degradation than silver chloride, which that's awesome. That is incredibly encouraging. So, if you liked that video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, well, whatever. Subscribe, comment, share the video, donate a few bucks if you can. And until the next one, y'all, I'll see you later. That's so cool. I I think I've done all the monovalent chlorates now, except for rubidium and lithium.